Good yeah, morning. Hope everybody's good. I'm doing pretty good. It's 5.39 in the morning. <clears throat> and um, time to go back to work. After being off for nine days. Slept pretty good. I feel a little groggy for some reason. I did have a little bit of a hard time. What the hell? Falling asleep. Tripping. Okay. Anyways. Um, I did have a hard time falling asleep a little bit last night. So I didn't get all the sleep. I didn't get all nine hours of sleep I wanted. So I've I've got to settle at seven. I still feel kind of groggy though. Um, let me wait for the engine to go by. Get to rolling, pal. If you're going to have loud pipes in your car, at least like have it cammed out or something. Make it sound cool. Not this stock sounding BS that don't sound good. So anyways, uh, <clears throat> it seems like I've been off for a long time, to be honest. It seemed like a long nine days. At the same time, though, it just seems like that. It's weird. And it was, it was a good vacation. Um, I guess if you want to call it a vacation, unpaid time off. Um. But I didn't get as much stuff done as I wanted to. Not even close. But that's okay. I did come to the realization that <clears throat> it's just something I'm going to have to just chip away at whenever I feel like it. I'm not going to try to pressure myself into shit anymore. That <clears throat> Damn it. I'm not going to try to pressure myself into shit that... I don't need to be pressuring myself about. That's pretty much what I've been doing. So I got to stop doing that because it just doesn't benefit me at all. And uh, I got to try not to let stupid get to me. You know, there's just going to be stupid people all around me for, for the rest of my life. It's been there my whole life. It's going to be there for the rest of my life. Just There's just going to be people that are rude, stupid, evil, a-holes. They're just going to be, they're, they're just, they're the, you know, the negative. They're the yin of the yang. Okay, like I said in my other video, you have to have good to have evil. You have to have evil to have good, right? It has to be that way. It has to be positive and negative or else you don't have either. So there's always going to be idiots around me. And there always has been. In fact, I've, I've been the idiot. Maybe I still am the idiot. I don't know. But just trying to say that this is just a fact that it's just the way life is, man. There's just going to be idiots and there's going to... The idiots can become non-idiots, and then the non-idiots can become idiots. It's just, what's your flavor of the fucking week, right? So, or what's your flavor of the day? What's your flavor of the hour, right? It's just all about decisions. People make bad decisions. People make good decisions. Hopefully you don't get locked up for the bad decisions or knocked out or whatever. 
speaking of knocked out, man. A sign of the times, okay? There's this dude standing in line at the post office. Who knows what happened before he got in there, but he's just standing there minding his own business, right? There's people in front of him, probably five, six, seven people standing in line in front of him. He's the one in the last of the line, right? And these two dudes come in, just walk up behind this dude, and this one dude just sucker punches him, knocks his ass clean out. He flops on the ground, head bounced off the ground. And he's just laying there knocked out, right, unconscious. And these two dudes walk right back out. And then all the people that are in there, including the security guard, well, the security guard just walks right by like he doesn't even see the guy or he has no clue what's going on. Like, just walk by like nothing, right? And everybody, this, and nobody even paid attention to this guy. They act like, nothing happened and it's just this one lady sitting there filming with their phone right other other people are just acting like they don't see this guy knocked out on the ground right and he just laid there nobody even tried to help the guy or nothing man i i'm just standing there going is there that many fucked up people on this planet where like in public like you're in a public place and you're laying there knocked out and no one's checking you to make sure you're fine no one follows these guys out that just knocked this dude out clean, could have killed him. And this lady's just sitting there with her phone. She'd rather film the guy that's sitting there just knocked out and film the guy, you know, and instead of trying to help the guy, she's sitting there videotaping. And everybody else is just ignoring him, acting like they don't want no part of it. And the guy's sitting there, he could be dying, right? Just Everybody just left him there for dead. And I'm just looking at this going, that's where this world is coming to, huh? People care more about acting like they don't see this guy laying there dying, or they act there, they care more about filming than helping this guy, right? Well, he was a black man, okay, and there was black dudes that came in and knocked him out. Is that why? Or you know, is, is it a, is it, is it really like a cultural thing where, you know, you're not supposed to help people, of, of, you know, whatever color they are. I don't know. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me why no one would help a guy laying on the ground. Do people really care that little bit about a man? Maybe if it was a woman, they would be more inclined to help. Or is it that men are so useless in men's people's outlook on men are is so low that they just look at him as trash? Like he's just laying there like a piece of trash? Or does, it, does race have anything to do with it? I don't know, man. But to me, that doesn't make sense why none of them people would lift a finger to help a guy laying there possibly dying, right? Sorry, I just, that, that pissed me off. I don't care what color you are, whatever. If someone needs help, don't grab your damn phone and start filming them. Fucking help them, man. Doesn't matter what color they are. You know what? We're all, we're all related, man. And if, if that's a fact, okay? We all came from the same place. We're all related. We're all brothers and sisters. We need to help each other, man. We need to freaking help each other. Okay, yeah, if the guy, if there's an active shooter or there's a situation where, you know, you, you might get knocked out yourself, okay, don't get involved. But these guys left. That guy's laying there possibly dying and nobody helped this dude, right? I, I'm just, you know, and this ain't the first time I've seen something like this. You know, I'm not like that, man. I, you know, people are lacking balls these days. They're f fragile they, or they just don't care. They just don't give a shit about anybody else. They're so self-centered, self-serving that they would rather just let the guy die and just mind their own business or film the guy for whatever reason. 
I don't know, man. It's just, you know, just like the other video I put up the other day about, you know, people not having balls. How, like, you know, sometimes you have to stick up, you know, for people. Like, when no one else has the balls, you have to step up. You know, this is another situation just like that. Just different circumstance, right? Or is it to the point where no one wants to stand up and help their brothers or sisters because they don't have faith in our brothers and sisters? They just think, well, you know, everybody sucks, right? I ain't going to stand up for anybody anymore just because everybody's that fucked up. They, they, you know, everybody sucks now. So I'm not going to step up for everybody because I hate everybody, right? No, we need to we need to have you know, even though you know I dislike a lot of people's actions, I still won't like turn my back on my fe fellow brother or sister. I'll I'll still try to help if I can, you know. Just like the other day, this this lady, this older lady, I'm at the beach. I'm on the boardwalk, you know, I'm just cruising with my bike, and I hear this loud crash behind me, right? So I turn around. There must have been five five people already there checking to make sure this, this lady's okay, right? First guy there is the black man, okay? So, you know... Sometimes you can't let seeing one situation discourage you completely because you could turn around and see a, a total a, another situation that where someone might even give their own life to help you. And it's like it's easy to get discouraged and pissed, but then on the other side, you can. Your faith can be restored like that. Boom. But I think the point I'm trying to make is like, just don't lose, don't lose that faith in our, our brothers and sisters, our humanity, you know, just try to keep that in, in whatever situation. Just always remember we're all related, man. I don't know how I got into that rant, but I needed to get that out because that's something that bothered me. I saw that on the news, how no one helped that guy. And then like, yeah, just the other day when I was at the beach, I saw everybody run into this lady's aid, like, boom, you know, and I, the guy, the black dude, that was the first one there to help her make sure she was okay. You know, when it, when the situation was all done, <clears throat> you know, I fucking patted him on the back and said, good looking out, dude, you, pre you know, you need more people like you. And if you see someone, Stepping up like that, praise them a little bit, man. Because, you know what? A little bit of love goes a long ways. It spreads. It really does. But then, on the other hand, if nobody does nothing, it might happen again. Nobody will continue to do anything because they just, you know, there's nothing in it for them, right? Don't want to get involved with that. That's not the right way to go, unless you know they're you're gonna you don't want to put yourself in danger either. Some people are willing to put themselves in danger, you know. But if you're not in danger and someone needs your help, man, fucking help them, you know. Fuck. I saw on the news the other day, person in a car got in a car wreck, trapped inside, cars on fire. There's three, four, five, six people there putting their lives on the line trying to get this person out right so that kind of shit like i'm i like seeing that you know i like seeing that but i really don't like to see people do nothing you know so anyways went off a little rant on that need to get that one out though because we need to keep reminding people to help each other if we need help, man, and that we are all related, whether you like it, <clears throat> whether you like it or not, we all did come from the same place. We all came from somewhere, right? And it was, it's the same. We're all made of the same material.
So anyways, today is my Monday after my nine days off. I'm not really looking forward to going back to work. It's just the same shit. Same thing. Work one day, survive another. And um, try to find something in between that can make me happy. Try to be happy at work. That's the name of the game. I am burned out with that job. Even though I just had an unpaid vacation. Yeah, I'm going to really be not happy when I don't get my next paycheck. But that's okay. It was worth it. I got to go see my mom. So, and I did get some needed rest and relaxation on the rest of the days. And I did go out, hung out at the beach a couple of the days which is very nice. Got me a new bike over the holiday or over my unpaid vacation. And got a lot of work to do because I got to convert that bike now into, I'm going to basically build a motorcycle. So I got that to look forward to. Comes a train. Not even six in the morning yet. It's laying on it. But, uh, you know, there we go. He's, he's by. So and I I did I got to see my brother too a little bit so uh, I I did do some fun cool stuff over my time off so very cool um, extra strong coffee this morning <sighs> trying to use up the last of the French roast and I got the donut blend coming up so that's gonna be good I'll bet it's a little less caffeine which. I've been trying to, you know, cut a little bit of that out because I think it affects me later in the day if I get too much. I'm debating whether I want to ride my bike to work or take my scooter, but I really, it's going to be hot later. I better not take the pedal power. I'll take my scooter. So anyways, um, what else has I got to throw at you today? I'm <clears throat> feeling pretty good. i um, glad my whole headache's gone. My lip's fine. My cold sore's gone. Uh, I feel pretty good, man. I mean, like, I got, I can't, I don't have nothing to complain about. So, I'm just going to get back to work. And uh, hopefully everything's okay there. Hopefully it didn't fall apart without me. And we'll see. Hopefully I don't step into a big pile when I get there. We'll see. Um, other than that, everything's cool. Oh, yeah. One thing I wanted to bring up um, that I keep forgetting to bring up about as far as not drinking. Um, let's see. I got like... Uh, we're coming up on like three months here this week. So a couple more days, it'll be three months. <sighs> and I feel good. One thing I do want to point out that I've noticed is I am not getting acid reflux or heartburn anymore. Like literally, I just don't get it. So that's another benefit to stop drinking is no more stomach issues, really. And I got up early. Before my alarm by a half hour, that was my alarm clock. So lots of benefits to not drinking. I'm not craving really as much as I was. I still am getting some though. It's usually when I jump on a beer uh, channel on YouTube and I'm like watching my home, my, you know, I'm still friends with my beer community. They're still my friends, you know, 
Sometimes I'll watch them and it'll make me trigger a little bit of a Jones. But I just turn the channel, you know, tell them to have a nice day because I'm going to go watch something else. You know, I'm sitting here like drooling over looking at their beer. I mean, you know, it's always going to be like that. Once an alcoholic, always an alcoholic. That part I do believe to be true. I do. That's why I don't say I'm quitting because that you can't say you're quitting and then turn around and say once an alcoholic, al always an alcoholic, you know, that's the one thing about AA that just doesn't make sense to me. And I don't need AA and I'm not going to ever go to AA. You can do it on your own. Okay. You can. If I can, anybody can. Because, you know. I, will, I am the beer hound, okay? I did change my channel name, though, recently, if you haven't noticed. To the Bill Hound Show. Why? Well, let's see. I'm almost... I'm more coming up on 60 videos, 6-0, that are not alcohol-related since I stopped drinking. So, you know, uh, that's... <laughs> that's two months out of three worth of video that are not alcohol related so I might as I mean since they're not beer reviews anymore and I'm still going with the channel still keeping it alive I might as well you know give it a name that's more appropriate so I call it the Bill Hound show now which is more appropriate since you know I don't know how long I'm gonna be taking a break from alcohol could be Definitely, it's going to be more than another week or month, definitely, um, just because I feel so much better not having alcohol and just being clean and sober. I really do feel that much better, even though I'm still going through some physical issues, I don't know, and mental issues. I'm pretty sure this still has to do with just becoming sober, okay, even though it's been almost three months from alcohol and a year and three months from drugs. I'm still going through, I, I still feel like I'm going through a process, a transition, getting used to being clean and sober. It just takes time. I really do think it takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. <sighs> okay. So anyways, the video starting to run long in the tooth. Um, I got to start getting ready for work. You know, nothing's changed. Even though I became clean and sober, clean, clean and sober, some of us still have to work. So I do appreciate your all, all your support. This is just a random back to work vlog. This isn't my weekly vlog. I'll be posting that in a few days, a couple of few days when it's here. But I just wanted to rant a couple of things off and um, you know, just remind people that we are related. You know whether you like it. Whether you like it or not, you're my brother and sister. Just kidding. All right. Um, no, I'm not kidding. I'm serious. But you all have a good day. And I do appreciate you all and your support. And, uh, you know, keep it like, keep, you know, keep it good looking out. You know, good looking out on our, our people. Okay. Just keep an eye on them. If someone's laying on the ground, knocked out, you know, make sure. Just let them know you're there and you see them and, you know, if they're going to die, you're going to try your best to not let them die. All right. So y'all have a good day and we'll catch you later.